Hey, good morning. I'm out in my front yard and um, I'm about to do my morning run. And uh, one of the reasons why I'm going to go do my run is because the Bible tells us to run. You may not know that, but I'm going to show you here in just a few minutes. But um, just want to say good morning or good afternoon, whatever it is for you, or good evening. But uh, I'll be back in a few minutes. So um, sit back and uh, I'll see you in a minute. Thanks. Okay, I'm partway through my run. And I told you there's a verse in the Bible that says we're supposed to run, and it's in Hebrews 12, verse 1. It goes like this. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight in the sin that clings so closely, and let us run with perseverance against the race that is set before us. Hebrews 12, 1. Didn't they do a great job? I asked them to do that, and every one of those kids has that verse memorized because it is our theme verse in our youth ministry right now. So you can pull just about any high school student or middle school student aside and say, what is Hebrews 12.1? And they might be able to actually tell it to you. Uh, it's our theme for our youth ministry. Our youth ministry theme this year is Run With Jesus. And that's kind of what we're all about in our ministry right now. Uh, in that verse, as I said, it tells us to run. And um, I was kind of making a joke of that, but there's some truth to it. And the key word in that thing was the word perseverance. We're going through some tough times right now with the coronavirus, kids staying at home from school, jobs, economy, all those kinds of things. Um, and I think part of what this verse tells us, and we don't know who wrote it, it was written, uh, it's in the book of Hebrews. If you ask any of our high school kids who wrote the book of Hebrews, uh, they'll tell you only God knows. But uh, the writer of the book was telling us to hang in there. To, uh, to some degree. We have this great cloud of witnesses in Hebrews 11, and the writer's saying, because of that, hang in there. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep running this race and run it with perseverance. You're going to go through some tough times, but hang in there and run this race strong and steady with perseverance. Uh, one of the things we talk about with our high school kids, we talked about this on Monday night, was this phrase, a long obedience in the right direction. Just stay obedient and continue to go in the right direction, running with Jesus. We uh, who follow Jesus, he loves us, we can trust him. Therefore, since we are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside the weight and the sin that clings so closely and let us run the race with perseverance. Okay, let's all do that. Thank you. God bless you. Hang in there.